sun's out. That's what it looks like. Brought everything, charged all my batteries, and it should be a go. All right, now I finally turned off the bridge. That's what it looks like. There's a bunch of important buildings around here. A bunch of towers. Hopefully I can get some good shots. One of the hardest decisions I decided to make was to really focus on sunrises and sunsets. And in order to get sunrises, you need to be up super early, of course, and you need to be around when the sun is setting. So I figured, how about I just stay up all night after I get sunsets, and then I'll catch the sunrise, go to bed right after, sleep all day, get up for sunset and do the same thing again. That way I could see the nightlife, I could see some of the day, and really I, I get to go and have a lot of fun and still be able to get my sunrise and sunsets. When making my UK slash Europe travel plans, I figured that I should go to an English speaking country first because if anything went wrong, I'd be able to hopefully explain myself or explain any kind of misunderstandings. It's only about $40 to travel in between countries in Europe, and it's only about $40 to travel in between countries in the UK. Since this was a budget trip, I figured that I wouldn't go into any museums or anything that would cost a lot of money. I figured that I would go back to the countries with some friends next time to see any kind of art, go to any museums or any events because then I'd know where things are and I could trust that our plans would make sense, etc. The first day I took the London Underground Metro system to get to my hostel. I had never stayed in a hostel, so I did some research and I found St. Christopher's Hostels, which is in the UK and Europe, and most of the places that I plan on going. I chose the St. Christopher's Hostel over by the London Bridge, mostly because I could walk to most places. I saw that there was bus routes pretty much everywhere and that it was really close to the underground London Metro. So with all of that, I decided to go with that hostel, which actually has another one right down the street about two blocks away. While I was there, I mostly just made plans for when I'd come back. I knew that I'd be going to a bunch of other countries and that I'd have about three to five days in London before heading back to the United States. One of the biggest and most important parts of traveling that I noticed when it comes to making content was making content that people could recognize where it is. So something that you could recognize in London was the London Red Double Decker buses. I'd say that I, I noticed that above anything else and that every time that I see it in a movie, I notice that and it's easy to tell where they are. One of the really cool things that I noticed was that London was exactly like the video game I used to play, which was Midnight Club 2. They had some racing in that game, some really cool cars, but they actually had the real streets and the real map of London and other cities. So I actually kind of knew where I was going. <laughs> 